Good morning, it is the first day of the Asangade trek and we are in the town of Tinki, which is about uh, two and a half, three hours away from Cusco. We took a combination of a private ride and a bus to get out here. We're gonna start our hike, it's about like eight and a half miles up to Yupis. You can take a taxi, but we like, we like earning every mile and getting acclimatized slowly as opposed to all at once like you would on a taxi ride. We finished the first day of the Asangade trek. We are at the Yupis campground. Uh, it took us about five hours to get from the town of Tinki all the way up here. And it was only eight miles, but it was a grind. Um, over 3,000 feet of elevation gain, but just the altitude really got to me today. So those last couple miles were a big push. So there's Asangade Mountain behind me. That's a pretty cool little spot. Uh, pretty cool, there's just llamas also everywhere, and we saw hundreds of them on the way up here. Uh, so we definitely got our llama fixed for the day. Good morning from Yupis on the Asangai Trek. It is day two, and we are just about to get started here, heading up to the Arapa Pass. And uh, so that'll be a nice, nice bit of uphill, pretty steep it looks like. But we can certainly use the warm up because it was absolutely freezing here last night and all this morning. The sun's just coming over the edge, starting to warm us up a little bit. Uh, but it's just, you know, frost on the ground, frost on the tent. Uh, so a nice and cold morning. Definitely the coldest that we've experienced so far. Day two of Asangade. We are pretty close to the Poca Coca Laguna, which is where most people end this day. But we are going to be badasses and continue on up another pass called the Asangade Pass and stay at a Natapata campsite so we can get to the Rainbow Mountain quicker and keep the whole trek at six days. But it's just uh, just gorgeous, all these little lakes surrounding by Mount Asangade. There's llamas around, there's horses. Uh, it's perfect for blue sky day, just awesome. Hey, it's the end of day two on the Asangade trek and it was definitely a really tough day that pass to get us from uh, Laguna Pucacoca to the place we're at right now, which is Anada, was really steep and really challenging. Probably not even a mile distance, but I mean, every single step was just looking straight up uh, at where you were going. Uh, the pass itself was really cool. You, on one side, you got the Mount Asangade uh, and the two lagunas right by it. And then on the other side of the pass, you get a really great beginning look at the different rainbow mountains uh, that scatter around this region so it's a uh, it's already getting pretty cold we are kind of cheating a little bit tonight and staying in one of these uh, little tent shelters which is uh, typically used by one of the companies but we're hoping that they don't mind <laughs> all right good morning it is uh, day three of the Asangadi trek and it is nice and early and we have already cashed in our first pass of the morning which is Abra Warmisaya. Uh, we left Anada uh, maybe 45 minutes to an hour ago. Uh, got up way before the sun rose. So we made it to the top of Rainbow Mountain. It was a tough like two and a half hour hike from our campsite at Anada and it is so cool up here. We've got the the Rainbow Mountain right in the background and it's just 360 degree views of, of awesome all the way around. You can see Asangate in the back but we almost beat the tourists here um, who took the bus and made a little bit of a climb up here but it's still pretty great. Um, so yeah this is it I'll show you around. So down there is, uh, is the path where the uh, tour groups come from. All the way down there is the, the bus, and you can see the road go all the way, all the way down here. And there's the mountain. So we made it to the end of day three on the Asangade trek, and it was challenging. We went all the way from Anada up to the Rainbow Mountain, and then back to Anada, and then descended down to Laguna Asangate, which is just hidden in the background over there. But it was pretty challenging to get back to down here where we were camping in Manada. There's just no real trails here at all. Even though 
maps were following maps on me it shows a dotted line but there is just nothing to follow there's all sorts of uh, herding tracks where many animals have made tracks but there's nothing to find so we certainly got a little bit lost on the way here just not exactly where we were supposed to be but you know heading in kind of the right direction but it turned out to be okay we got here just fine hello from the top of the palomani pass in uh, day four of Assam Gate. Uh, it was a tough like two and a half hour climb uh, to get up here from our campsite down at Asangate Koka. And it's a pretty awesome view. You can see the, the Laguna that we started at all the way down. You can even see where we were a couple days ago. Um, there's Puka Koka kind of just in that valley down there. Um, and then Mount Asangate, that big white guy. Hopefully you can see it over the ridge right over there. And, uh, and then this is where we're going after this. Stunt, just absolutely stunning uh, mountain all around here. Uh, so we definitely definitely earned this view. We're at over, we're like 16,700 feet right here. So that's definitely the highest that I've ever been. But feeling good. So I'm really grateful for that. I'm just gonna soak it in because this is this is why we do this. It's just paradise up here. Beautiful mountains, beautiful lakes. It's tough. You work hard, but it's worth it every time. Wow, what an amazing day four of the Asangati trek. Uh, we finished and are at Jampa campsite. We started at Asangati Koka and climbed all the way up uh, to the to the Palamani Pass. That was a solid like two and a half hour uphill battle and enjoyed that view for over an hour descended all the way down to the valley and uh, then so you get you get down all the way and then you have to go up a little bit uh, in those last couple miles to get to Jampa and it's just unbelievably beautiful place to set up a tent um, I purposely made the lighting on my face not quite as good so you can see the background mountain behind us uh, it's just absolutely stunning so very grateful for this day it was quite possibly one of my favorite like complete days of hiking that I've ever had uh, I just love the good grind in the morning getting up to the top to see a beautiful sight and then the whole descent we're going through the valley and you keep seeing different mountains which was so cool I kept feeling sad that you'd make a turn a corner and you knew you wouldn't see the same mountain again but then all of a sudden a new one popped up and it was just as beautiful. Good morning from day five of the Asangade trek. And uh, we just left Jampa a little bit ago. And we are hiking up to our first pass for the day and ending at Pekana. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. All these mountains all around us, things are good. Weather's beautiful. Just uh, had to capture this epic hike that we're doing right here. Uh, certainly feeling my inner Julie Andrews coming out. That's for sure. Uh, so probably do the next update once we get to the top of the pass. Kind of hard to tell exactly where that is, but that's kind of part of the fun. Ooh, day five, Austin Gade. We made it to the top of the Kampa Pass. Took us two and a half hours to get up here from Jampa. Uh, it was a nice gradual climb today. A bit longer distance, not as much, not as steep as the Palamani Pass from yesterday. But we're pretty much at the same elevation, uh, right around 16,600 feet. Uh, and it is uh, pretty sweet up here. Uh, we've got these two beautiful mountains that we've been hiking along and you can see down all the way into the valley of where we're going uh, it's pretty cool too so we just had a good snickers break which was awesome these people from the group that we stayed near last night uh gave us snickers bars this morning which was like the most holy grail of gifts you could give somebody oh man so that was good and uh, i think it's just like all downhill from here to get to Pacanta and then eventually to tinky tomorrow